Hi and welcome to How to Use CAD. I'm Tom Norris and for this tutorial we are going to get serious with how to use text within CAD. Text and the use of within CAD programs is an area mostly overlooked by new CAD users. Once you have the basics you tend to explore other elements uh, and stay with it until such a time as your lack of knowledge on how to use text correctly within CAD comes back to haunt you. So today we're going to give you a serious intro into how to manipulate text within CAD that will enable you to paste, place, size and import text within seconds. Right, as you can see I've been a little busy, I've been doing bits and pieces, I've been messing around with text um, in preparation for this tutorial. Um, what I would say is that m most of us um, are end, end, end up that when we get introduced to CAD or CAD design on any of these programs, doesn't matter which one, that we tend to, uh, oops, you can tell that is live, you, you, you tend to just start out with the A here, learn how to type in text and you make do and that because you 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 you're you're not actually doing loads of text initially but you've learned the pretty much the basics how to get text in manipulated through the properties bar uh, or the double click and go in take the long route manipulated here font color size etc uh, yeah, so that, that, that's where most of us are. But my question then is, and, and that works fine, by the way, that works fine to a point. So my question then was, how do I put in larger chunks of text, say like this? So what I did was uh, I've managed to put some uh, lorem ipsum into a text file here, and uh, I'm just going to copy it. So you can see I've brought this in so you can see what I'm copying from. So now, if I double click on this small text, um, oops, I'm on the wrong one. Double click on this one. Uh, I go to general, you can see the bit of text. Pop it in, and you can see what happens. It's in one long, one long line. Um, okay, can I condense it? Can I turn it? Will it wrap? No, it doesn't wrap. So hard as you, <laughs> hard as you want. Make I can change the size sometimes. Uh, so yeah, it seems to be getting smaller. Yeah, getting smaller. The font is getting smaller. So what I'm basically saying is that I can't get rid of the long line. It doesn't wrap. Um, so if I've got large amounts of text, which I've copied in from my text file here, uh, how the hell do I get it to wrap? Uh, and the reality is, using this technique, you can't. So this technique is absolutely fine for small amounts of text. You just want to put a little antidote in, but if you want to type in something a bit longer, um, I'll show you what I used to do. Uh, let, let me just put, draw again. or. Type in a little text again. This is what I used to do when, uh, was, you know, in the early days of my cat life. Um, what I would do is I'd type it in there and then I'd go to the front. And if I wanted it in a column or a short column, I would start uh, going through the text like so. And uh, this gives you an idea. So I was creating uh, a text block through manipulating and breaking and breaking because I didn't know how to do it any other way and I needed to put little antidotes in that needed a bit of a description and uh, that was what I was doing. I think there's probably a lot of people out there doing the same. So the aim of this lesson today is to um, show you <laughs> how to actually put in large amounts of text within, within a CAD file or within a CAD drawing and this is not the way to do it. Uh, we both know that, and, but it's just a question of, well, we all know that. It's just a question of what we don't know, and we, what we don't know mostly is how to put it in. So now we have a little tool here called multi-text. So multi-text is a different kettle of fish altogether. Click anywhere on the page, drag it across, click again, and now type your text. There you go. 
Um, now, when you type this text, um, you can have your spaces, etc. And the beauty of this one is it wraps. So you can see um, we're wrapping our text and if I just click off session text wrapped. Now if I double click can't find it. I used to find this strange. Uh, Multi-line text told me showed me lots of ways of manipulate it but it never showed me the text so I didn't even know how to do this. What I didn't know was that in order to manipulate this text to edit it what you have to do was click on the multi-line icon. What, um, what that does is it brings up the text box. So now uh, within this uh, within, within this environment you can manipulate the text here changed change to Verdana change the color change to sizing etc etc um, now let's try it with a large block of text so here we go, copy and paste again. So copy. And paste. Um, there you go, in a block. So if you actually go to the trouble of preparing, uh, let's assume you got a placeholder on your drawing for text, um, and then Hmm, looks a little bit too small. Uh, the, the placeholder is a little bit too small or the text is too big, whichever way you want to do it. So there's no point in double clicking this. Uh, Multi-line text. Let's see if we can do it this way and see what happens. I haven't done this for a while. Yeah, made it small, but I had no control over it. Drag it down. You can see it starts to go out of shape. So neither of those two moves are good. So what you have to do is you click on the text, click on the multi-text tool, and now you can manipulate it. The beauty of the using the multi-text is that um, you can import, you can type it in situ or you can actually import it and you can use as I've just done the copy and paste but you can also uh, actually import uh, from files so if you write something up so let's just do that here let's assume I'm gonna put that one there uh, and now I'm going to go import and if I click on import here uh, we go to docs uh, we should be able to find it. There you go. So now it's imported the text from that text file, which was an external text file, and placed it into your uh, multi-text holder. And, and now, of course, um, just click uh, the Select tool. So if you want to prepare um, a placeholder for large amounts of text, um, and then text into it, well, uh, it's a very simple process. You can, uh, as I say, you can manipulate the text by the size, the color, and uh, which is always lovely uh, because uh, it solves all this problem, you know, with regard to having to structure the text and cut and chop. But it wraps fine. It wraps lovely. It sizes lovely and colors lovely. And in case uh, there's one other little thing I could show you. Um, let me just, and that is that when I select the text, uh, you change, change down here. So when you select it using the multi-text, 
you get this menu here and I didn't really explain this well enough but apart from the normal colors font sizes etc and this is where we import by the way uh, you can also space out the text you can uh, put background colors in so I'm gonna put a background color in now I'm gonna put blue um, and <laughs> that, that, that didn't help let's put a lighter blue in there okay so you, you got the drift so if you want a text box um, if you're editorial with uh, background color change to font color into font color to white forgot on the uh, when it comes to changing the font color you need to select uh, how much font you're actually changing let's go back to black so now you got black on blue so uh, to lose the multi-text uh, tool you just well you can just click the select tool and it's gone so the lesson here is don't try to manipulate the text change the sizing or anything uh, without first going into the multi-text so get it up get the bar going across once the bar is there you've got your menu system here on the right and that is how you go left right rapid the size you want uh, and that will enable you to do anything you want within text within the CAD programs so to me this is a, a big big uh, uh, was a, well, it was a very important step learning this because I had spent uh, maybe a year or two manipulating text uh, using the uh, simple the simple uh, a text tool and of course uh, you do need to move up a bit and learn about multi-text learn how to import learn how to copy and paste learn how to manipulate uh, and change backgrounds etc okay that's about it i hope you've uh, hope this lesson has been value to you and that um, you've learned um, and got over the hump that i had uh, for quite a while and that you can now be uh, using loads of text in your drawings and uh, creating incredibly good looking drawings thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe or uh, follow up on our other videos and i'll see you in the next video thanks very much bye bye